That little guy is a tardigrade. An animal smaller than the head of a pin. Atoms let matter do funny things. To understand water, you need to know what its atoms are doing. Every molecule of water is composed of two tiny hydrogen atoms attached to a larger oxygen atom. That's why we call it H2O. If it's not too hot or too cold, the molecules can slide and tumble past each other. There's still some stickiness between the molecules, but not enough to lock them into a rigid solid. That's what makes something a liquid. The sun warms the water. And with more energy, the molecules move faster. That's all that temperature is. Those molecules are moving fast enough to break the weak bonds that hold them to their neighbors. That's evaporation. The air we breathe is made of nitrogen and oxygen molecules with a scattering of water vapor and carbon dioxide. Incoming. That's condensation. A dewdrop is the momentary triumph of condensation over evaporation. And while it lasts, it's a little cosmos with its own worlds, creatures, drama. To explore the far-flung realms of this dewdrop, we're going to need a ship. One with twin engines, science, and imagination. That's a single-celled paramecia one of a multitude of skilled hunter warriors that roam the dewdrop but they too are hunted the dileptus the paramecium's mortal enemy the paramecium might get lucky and score a direct hit even if it doesn't the recoil from the barrage will put some distance between the paramecium and its attacker what can i say that's life in the dewdrop That little guy is a tardigrade, an animal smaller than the head of a pin. Don't underestimate them. Tardigrades have been living on this planet a lot longer than we have, about 500 million years. For every one of us, there's at least a billion of them. They can make a living anywhere on Earth the frigid peaks of the tallest mountains, in the cauldrons of erupting volcanoes, and in the deep ocean vents in the bottom of the sea. Tardigrades are so tough, they can survive naked in the vacuum of space. They've survived all five of the most recent mass extinctions on this planet. A visitor from another world could be forgiven for thinking of Earth as the planet of the tardigrades. We're ever gonna get to the bottom of this dewdrop? Better get a move on. Every leaf and tiny clump of moss has hundreds of thousands of microscopic mouths called stomata. Plants breathe through them, taking in carbon dioxide and exhaling the oxygen that we need to live. The plants can survive without us, but we and all the other animals, we'd be toast without them. The plants make food out of sunlight, we animals can't do that. To see how they do it, we have to go deeper, make ourselves about a thousand times smaller to get into their treasure house, the place where they keep the good stuff, the chlorophyll. That's the molecule that converts sunlight into energy. Every one of those rectangles is a plant cell, and those tiny green vehicles are its energy factories. If we could steal their trade secrets, it would trigger a new industrial revolution. But to spy on them, we're gonna to need to go deeper still. 